tax relief not the only thing on the agenda for the special session. Lawmakers will also discuss how to use federal money to provide food for children. Your reporter Alan Janae looking into that for us tonight. And Alan, the funding will provide meals in the summer when kids are out of school. Yeah, and there is definitely a need for that, Michael. Of course, the hardest impacts uh, of inflation are on people who can afford it the least. Make those decisions every day. Do you pay the rent? Do you fix the car? Do you pay the power bill? Do you buy food? Well, there is assistance for food in a program called Summer EBT. It's federal money, but the state has to get things ready and meet some deadlines early next year to be able to implement it. And that's why it's in the special session. Into the car goes a box of groceries. That's it for this night for a mother of five. Kids are eating a lot more, and the price of food is getting a lot expensive. Food assistance programs help, says Jessica, who wasn't comfortable on camera. Does it help you put more nutritious food into your kids? It, it helps you think about what you're picking out. Rhonda Miles, who works at Amazon and a retired husband, feel the sting of inflation trying to feed children. Yeah, I have seven of them, so I definitely know, and we're on a tight, tight budget. A food assistance program during the pandemic ended earlier this year. The summer EBT program would be much like it, giving families cards carrying food buying benefits. During the summertime when they were on break and everything like that, that really, really helped us out. It's not just the issue of hungry children, but those not eating healthy foods, says Elie Agar of Hunger Free Colorado. Yes, you can get cheap calories, but you might not really be able to be productive or you might have brain fog or different things from just not eating the right foods. They know some families sacrifice good food for other things. When you look at that, families are having to make tough choices between food and other bills. And a program like this helps alleviate some of that burden. So when Rhonda heads into the store, she can be better prepared. This would be $40 per kid per month. That would be helpful. Generally, this would mean that about 300,000 Colorado students who are currently on free and reduced lunch would be eligible for their families to get that $40 a month per child payment over the summertime. But this is uh, federal money, all federal money, about $35 million, but the state would have to pay half the cost of administering it. And the legislature has to sign off on that, therefore they have to approve. In Denver, Alan Janae covering Colorado First. All right, Alan, thank you.